number 13 uh, says if a baseball is projected upward from a ground level with initial velocity of 96 feet per second, uh, then its height is a function of time and it's given by this S <clears throat> is equal to negative 16 T squared plus 96 T. We want to know what is the maximum height reached by the ball. So this is an application of uh, the quadratic formula when we find the vertex. So finding the vertex uh, will give us the maximum height. So we're going to take this function and we're going to complete the square, find the vertex, and that y coordinate will give us our maximum. We do know it's going to be a maximum because our leading term is negative. So that kind of yields. So um, we don't have a constant to move over. So this term is going to be set equal to zero. And I'm going to go ahead and factor out uh, a negative 16. So negative 16 leaves us with t squared uh, divided by negative 16. <clears throat> Do the math here. Times 5 is 80, so 6 um, minus 6t plus blank spot is equal to 0 plus blank because we're going to be adding something to both sides. So that term is divide this by 2 and square it. All right, so um, off to the side, I'm going to take negative 6 divided by 2 and square it. I can reduce this. That will give us negative 3 squared. All right, so negative 3 squared. Negative, negative 3 squared is negative 9. I'm sorry, positive 9. And we have to multiply that by 16 to find out what we add here. So negative 16 times positive 9. It's going to give us 54. And then 9 times 1 is 9 plus 5. Carried from the 54 is 144. It's going to be a negative 144. So that's a, essentially what we've added to both sides. All right, so when we factor this, We have t minus 3 squared equals negative 144. And we move it over and we get this function of height in vertex form. And move the 44 over, so plus 144. Okay, so our vertex is 3, 144 with a maximum height of 144.